So these are the latest headphones by Beats, and after ownership, I'm not really that impressed. Let me explain. I purchased these a while back for myself, I had them pre-ordered, and they got delivered a few days earlier, before the official release date. When I first saw the overall design of the Solo Pros, I fell in love with the new design, and as soon as I got it, it looks and feels good. Now these are on the ear headphones, which means this can be a huge plus for anybody that actually wears glasses because thanks to this design, if you wear like large frame glasses like myself, these don't create an opening where it allows sound to leak out. So you get a better seal. And since these are once again under your headphones, you can easily take off your glasses and put like a pair of sunglasses on without being required to take off the headphones. Now the included goodies that the Solo Pros comes included with is a new fabric case which does an okay job in protecting your headset, but it doesn't do a great job compared to like the previous cases that Beats used to use, the hard cases. And they also throw in a carabiner for the traveling case, which is nice. And you also have a lightning USB cable in case you don't own any Apple devices. So if you're team Android, you're good. You can still charge these. But I'm pretty sure we could all agree it would have been better if they actually included a uh, USB port, USB-C port instead of a lightning port. It's more universal, more convenient to find nowadays. Now I did use these headphones on my Android device and I found out there's zero limitations when you have it paired to a non-Apple device. Because just like on iOS, when you have these connected to your Android phone, you have full music controls. On the right side, the B button is actually a pressable button, which you could tap once to answer a call, pause or play, double tap will allow you to skip track, a triple tap will allow you to go to back to your previous track, and if you hold it down, that will launch the virtual voice assistant. And then if you're concerned about the two different modes that these solo pros can do, like the active noise cancellation and the transparency mode, that can also be controlled with the headset. There's a little button underneath on the left side of the headphones and if you tap it'll allow you to switch between those two modes. The transparency mode works extremely well. Apple did a fantastic job with Beats to allow this mode to work really good. Unlike other ambient modes or pass-through modes, just like the AirPods Pro, the transparency mode works extremely well. I mean whenever you're having a conversation with somebody else, like the vocals, the voices, they don't sound amplified. It's easy to understand even while wearing these headsets so you don't have to lower your volume or take these off. And when you're walking down the street, you can hear your surrounding just as well. And then the active noise cancellation works incredibly well. I tested these out in multiple different ways from live traffic in the background to having a more controlled environment with just a fan facing me. The active noise cancellation works extremely well that I was still able to focus on the audio that I was listening with these headphones. But when you have these headsets paired to your iOS device, you cannot just only control all these different modes with the headset physical buttons, but you can also control it on the phone itself. And if you have an Apple Watch, you can also switch between these modes right here off your wrist. So of course, other features that you have when you have these connected to an Apple device like your iPhone, you have hands-free Siri support. And then of course, you have the fast pairing across iOS devices. The Solo Pros also switch between Apple devices very quick. Now, a feature that I really like about these Solos is as soon as you fold them, that's basically the on and off button. So when they're folded like this, they're turned off. And when you unfold them, they turn back on. And battery life off these things, I mean, isn't too shabby. With the noise activation and the transparency mode off, these headsets can last up to 40 hours of audio playback time. And with those two modes enabled, either the noise activation or the transparency mode, you can get up to 22 hours of audio playback time. Then in case you ever need to, fast charging support is supported. A five minute charge will last you another additional hour. And from my overall ownership experience, I only had to charge these things like once a week. And that's with a battery life of 40% remaining. So I experienced no issues with this battery life. The battery life performs really well. Now, although these are called the Solo Pro, they have the Pro title in their name. Honestly, they don't really seem so much of as a real Pro headphone. For instance, there's no aux millimeter jack in on these headphones. From my understanding, if you need an aux cable, you have to buy the little dongle that Apple sells. A real pro headphone will actually already have this built into them, similar to like the studios. But the overall sound quality, I mean, these things, they sound good. I have no complaint with the audio quality that these things can produce. Just if you're looking for like a bass rich headset, like the older Beats, these don't do that. I mean, the bass sounds good and it sounds fantastic, but it's nowhere near as comparable like how Beats 
like older Beats headphones used to be known for. But I tested these out listening to multiple different genre songs and I found myself enjoying the quality of sound these can produce. So it's not bad. So for wireless headphones, these sound pretty good. They do have a built-in mic, which I'm gonna go ahead and test out and show you guys right now. These do support stereo calling, so you can hear me just fine. If I was on a phone call, I'll be able to hear the caller on both the left and the right side, which is great. And uh, I mean, no complaints that I've seen whatsoever about the mic quality, it sounds really good. I made a couple of phone calls and the caller was able to hear me just fine. Now the Solo Pros, they do come available in a variety of different color options to choose from. They all have the same matte like texture so everybody can easily find the best one that suits their personality. The top part of the Beats headsets right here is nicely padded. It feels like a silicone plastic. Very similar material that they used on the studios but less flimsy. They're very flexible. I have, I really doubt these are going to snap anytime soon. They're that durable. And the rails that they have on the sides are very easy to slide out and in. And they're made out of a metal like texture as well. There's no exposed cable, which is a huge plus. So you're less likely to damage anything. So with all that being said, now you may be asking yourself what's really wrong with them. That's the thing. I had these for several days now. And typically over time, headphones tend to loosen up a bit to the shape of your head for a better perfect fit. These didn't do that. Since these headphones are so durable, they do an excellent job in continuing to maintain that shape. So to me, when I'm wearing these, they apply a lot of pressure on your ears, which is great because that means they won't fall out as easy. So anybody that wants to play basketball with these, shouldn't have any issues. But from my personal experience, past the first and second hours, my ears become more physique. They begin feeling uncomfortable. I always have to rearrange them in just a bit. So if somebody's known to have like a larger size head, you may face this very similar problem. So if I were to rate the comfort wise from a scale of one to 10, I'll give these like a five. Because once again, past the first and second hours, I just cannot wear these. But if you're okay with the tightness, if you're actually looking for on the ear style headphones, these are great, especially with the feature and the software that they provide, the noise, the active noise cancellation, the transparency mode. I mean, compared to other headphones in today's market that offer a very similar feature, they're a little bit more expensive. So this can be a great value to some. And after all, since these are Beats, expect these to go on sale, especially during the holidays. So if you're planning on picking these up, make sure to check the link in the video description down below because that link is always gonna be updated with the latest sale. So if these go on sale, double check and see. But if you're okay spending a little bit more, I will still recommend checking out the Sony's or even the Bose because those feel a lot more comfortable than these. And they also offer a very similar sound quality as well. But there you guys have it. That was just my quick review of my ownership experience with the new Beats Solo Pro. If you're debating between these or the AirPods Pro, make sure to stay tuned and hit that subscribe button because there's gonna be a comparison against those two devices. And if that video is already out, you could click on it right there, or I'll have something to replace it in the meantime until that video is complete. And then this video over here, that is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. They say you're gonna like it. Go ahead and check it out. See if YouTube was right. If they were, comment down below, let me know. But anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.